So what we want to do now is also look to see if there's a straight leg raise that, that's positive. You know, for me, a abnormal slump, for example, might be the fact that the patient can't sit in your waiting room. So that would be somebody you definitely wouldn't manipulate because they can't even get to the part one of the slump. The other part when we're looking at neurodynamics and straight leg rays is we're looking at that this first region when, when you get up to about you know, 10 to 20 degrees, that's just taking up the slack. So when we're starting at zero-ish and then coming up, Without doing anything from above and below, that's great right there, right? Okay, so we have 39, 40. So then, this will be interesting. I'm going to dorsiflex his ankle and then come up right there. It doesn't hurt. I feel the tightness. Yeah. So now we got him down to 34. Now I'm going to internally rotate his leg. Is that hip okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And actually, that helped you out some, mm -hmm. which is interesting for him. I'm going to plantar flex and invert his foot. That'll check the peroneal. And that's not bad either, right? Okay. I have what you want to do when we're looking, and some people it's a little bit more profound, but we saw with him, his straight leg raise wasn't great, and it was decreased with dorsiflexion. I can have him tuck his chin or lift, lift his head off the table, and we can move up the head of the bed. So then when he brings his head up and I dorsiflex right there, yeah, he's, yeah, so he's at 34 there. So we're putting tension on above and below the system. So the, the concept behind the neurodynamics, one, you're looking to see if that reproduces pain and if they're really sensitive, you have to take that into account. For him, he's just super tight. Some of it might be neural drive to the hamstrings, but some of it definitely is a neurodynamic because it gets altered when we modify different positions of the hip and modify different positions of the head from above and below. So that's just a quick look at neurodynamics. The big thing is for somebody with a thoracic issue, you're not going to manipulate them if they have a positive straight leg raise. So let's see how everyone's neurodynamics are doing.